To develop a strong economy supports small business. That's one of the trickle-down effects Iran's leaders were hoping for when they signed the nuclear deal with world leaders three years ago. But for most businesses operating at this level, the kinds of marketplaces that represent the majority of Iranians, any benefits of the nuclear deal have passed them by. The expectations of the private sector have not been fulfilled. Abul Fazl Aliabadi has been working with the government and private companies to attract foreign investors to Iran. When the deal was signed, Iranian leaders said they had reconnected the country to the global marketplace. The reality is different. The political side of the nuclear deal carried more weight than the economic one. I'm not a political expert, but in economic terms, especially in the private sector, we have not witnessed any tangible achievements. Trade fairs like these are a common sight all year round. Producers from every province in the country travel to Tehran, trying to drum up more business. Here, the nuclear deal has been good for Iran's public image, but not much else. The Americans didn't let us realize our expectations. The shadow of fear hanging over the Europeans from the U.S. has affected the implementation of the nuclear deal. And regarding the taking of office by Trump, it has made things worse. A crazy man is at the top. Others say they're worried that if the deal falls apart or if there's new sanctions imposed, the few gains that have been made will be lost. Our raw materials mostly come from Europe. We don't have the same industrial steel in Iran. It's all imported from Europe. After the nuclear deal, importing has been easier. If there are more sanctions, our industry will collapse. At almost no cost to himself, Donald Trump is costing Iran dearly by scaring away potential investors. Well, we're going to see what happens. The Iran deal is coming up. Uh, it's uh, probably another month or so, and you're going to see what I do. But Iran has not been treating that part of the world or the world itself appropriately. A lot of bad things are happening in Iran. Uh, the deal is coming up in one month, and you will see what happens. Vague but ominous threats like this have created uncertainty about Iran's future, and that is bad for business. When the nuclear deal was being negotiated, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei warned his government that the deal may not work because, he said, the other side might stab Iran in the back. But he gave his blessings in hopes that a negotiated solution would bring an end to decades of confrontation with the West. Now supporters of the deal are worried that Khamenei's prediction may soon come true. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Tehran.